For our last additional feature, we're going to go ahead and add the solution button, which will in turn show the solution on a separate screen. So in order for this to happen, there's a few components we're going to need to add to our user interface as well as our block coding. We will need to add an additional screen, which we will call a solution screen. We'll include a solution button on our main screen, and then we'll need to upload some media that will allow us to see the final image. So let's take a look at our screen one or our main page on our app. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is add a solution button. And we're going to go ahead and add our solution button right in between our start and reset button. So in order to do this, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our button and we'll simply drag it into that horizontal arrangement. Once we add it into that horizontal arrangement, we're going to make sure that we rename button one to solution button. From there, we can go ahead and take a look at the properties of that button. So one of the first things we're going to want to make sure that we do is keep it in line with both our start and reset button. So we're going to go ahead and change our font size from 14 to 15. We'll also go ahead and make the width of this button set to 25%. After adjusting the size or the width of our button, we're going to change the shape from our default to rounded. And then we're going to go ahead and change the text from text for button one to solution. Now you have your solution button that can be programmed. Before moving on to adding the additional screen, we need to make sure that we look at what we want to actually achieve. When this button is selected, we basically want to open a brand new screen where we'll change the background image to be our final image. In order to do that, we're going to need to go to our block coding and we're simply going to go ahead and select when the solution button is clicked. So we're going to find a blank space on our mat. We're going to find our solution button and we're simply going to select when the solution button is clicked. Once that solution button is clicked, we want to open another screen. So we're going to go ahead and select our control statement. And down at the bottom, you're going to see that we have open another screen. And then we're going to go ahead and add our text. We're going to add a blank text box and we're going to give our new screen a name. And we're going to simply call this solution screen. Now, if we try to use this button at this time, nothing is going to happen. So if we go ahead and take a look and click on that solution, you're going to see that we're going to get a runtime error. The reason we're going to get this runtime error is because we haven't actually generated that new screen yet. So what we're going to need to do is go up to the top and we're going to create this solution screen. So we can hit add screen and instead of calling screen two, we want it to match what's in that text box. So now when we go ahead and hit OK, we've now created two separate screens, screen one as well as your solution screen. Now, if we go back to screen one and test our button again on our app, we should see that it should basically bring us over to our next component or our next screen. So let's go ahead and give that a try. If we select the solution button on our app at this time, now it should bring us over to our blank screen, which is titled solution screen. So from my solution screen, I'm going to go back to the designer view. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and modify that solution screen just a bit. The only thing I really need to change on that screen is that we're going to get rid of that title as we did on screen one. Now we're going to need to add our final solution to our app. The way that we can do this is by taking our app and simply placing all of the organ systems in the correct location. Once they're in the correct location, you can take a screenshot from your device and upload that to your computer. What we will need to do is upload some sort of image either a JPEG or PNG to your media folder in order to change the background of your app. As you can see here, we have an option to change the background image. We can't do that unless we actually have the solution image in our media folder. So we're going to go ahead and select upload. We're going to choose our file. And since I've already uploaded my solution image to my computer, I should be able to go ahead and find that and upload it into the media folder itself. So we'll go ahead and look 
find my solution ping, and I can go ahead and open that. Once I select OK, it should be added to my media folder where I will be able to use that at a later time. Now what your image will actually look like is just your simple build a body outline with all of the organ systems in the correct location. So now that we've gone ahead and uploaded that solution ping to my media drawer, I can simply go to my background image and I'm going to look for that file. Once I select that file, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And there you have a background image. Now this background image will only appear once the solution button is selected. We now need one way to get back to our original screen if we choose to use that solution button by itself. So in order to do this, what we're going to go ahead and look is just using a back press button. So if we select the solution screen, we can use the back press on our device to get us back to the original, uh, original screen. So we're going to use one back press. Going to our control, we're going to go ahead and find open another screen. And then we're going to use our text box and we must make sure that this matches exactly what our screen is titled up here, such as screen one. So we're going to go ahead and type in screen one. And now when the back press is pressed, we should be able to get back to the original screen. So if we take a look at our app, we can use the back press down at the bottom. That's going to bring us back to our original screen, which should have all of the information located. So there you have it. Test it one more time. Solution button will bring us to the solution screen. And our back press will bring us back to the original state or our original screen where we can reset and play the game again. So there you have it for your project 1.8 Build a Body app.